everyone, welcome back to Tainted Grail Conquest. On the last run, we played as the Berserker, and honestly, we had a really disappointing run. Uh, give me two more weird candles, please. We died on the first boss again. I just about at the end of the game began to, like, I think, get the Berserker, but we didn't quite utilize them, mainly because I didn't ult at the end, honestly. I had a quick look back, and I think that would have saved me, but my bad. Either way, we're going to continue just testing new characters. So I'm going to try the Blood Mage next. So Blood Mages offer their ultimate ability whenever they offer their blood. They can immediately overcharge a minion. The unique effect strength is multiplied by the number of charges they spend. And then they can summon a Golem, an Abomination, or a Worm. Okay, let's see what they're about then. So we did well as the Summoner class when we last played them. Not played them for a while, so... Gonna be a bit rusty again. <coughs> anyway, what's the goal of this video? Get out of the first area. We were really stomping this game for like a few episodes, and it's just gone a bit awry re recently. Admittedly, I think the last two classes I've played as have been like a bit temperamental with their HP, and it sounds like this one's gonna be too. Doesn't quite fit my style, but it's just something I have to learn, I suppose. Anyway, we're back here. Interestingly, I just want to speak to the blacksmith if I can remember where the hell he is. The blacksmith is. Do you have anything else? No, because we we bumped into silence again in the last episode, but it just gave us some weird stones instead. I also forgot to equip my polished thing that I got as well. I think I got a really good rune or something, and I didn't equip it because I was too busy, like lost in my own thoughts. My bad, I'll try and do better at stuff like this. On this run. But you know, it's not an Andalona video. Def definitely a dick build one. Without a misplay. Anyway, so what... So, Blood Golem this time. He has redirect. Uh, if he is activated, he heals himself. Overcharge, heal all allies. So is it not like the situation where if he gets hit, I get hit or something? I don't think it is. Activation. Heal itself. At level 4, deal 1 hit with a chance to stun. So if I promote this guy up, then he can start actually doing damage for me. Okay. Blood preparation. Offer 5 HP. Draw a random summon card from your deck. Ability. So this is my ability, so I can just pull summons to my deck. I'll always get this in my hands. Offer 2% of your max HP. Summon a Blood Abomination. Sure. And then I can either activate a minion, give myself some barrier, or I can try and find another one for my deck. None of these abomination things cost... I say abomination, so the summons that cost two or more. There are occasions that it's one, so... I think I'm just going to ritual and activate a minion. Deal one hit to all enemies. Okay. It's not the summon we wanted, but it's the summon we got. I guess I could, like, fish for it with blood prep. I'm going to try it. Yeah, that's what we want. We want a blood worm. Gain 200% damage this turn. Yes, please. And then we want to activate some of these guys. I also have promotion in my hand. Interesting that promotion is different for this character. So it's offered 2% of your max HP. Last time it didn't used to be that. Anyway, we want to get a hit here. Oh, do I activate them at the end of my turn as well? Because the summoner, I had to like activate them separately. Wait, why is that happening? Minions are blah blah blah. Cumulative power. Overcharge. Minion performs a specified action. After that, the minion dies. I don't get this still. It's kind of com complicated. I'm trying to figure out what sets the overcharge off and why they are attacking. Unless this has changed. Because the summoner, I definitely had to activate the unit to make them attack. Otherwise, they just stood there and did nothing. But it looks like these guys are auto-attacking. Which I'm happy with. Okay. We're going to get the kill here, then. I'm just going to promote people, because why not? Give me... Give me 10... Give me 10 barrier. 
we could put armor on this unit. Okay, I get this. I don't, but I get it. <laughs> oh, I... Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, I thought I still had the shiny stone, but I don't. Sacrifice a minion. Heal all the minions to full HP. And put 20 barrier on them. Interesting. I don't think I want another Grim Fae. And Druid's Curse. This turn, all enemies lose 50 armor and 50% damage. No, and lose 50% damage. Complete opposite of what I just said. I, I do value, like, reducing armor. But I think I'm going to reroll. Sacrifice a minion, promote all the minions. That seems pretty good. Activate all minions two times. That also seems pretty good. Give me harvest, though. All good golems are promoted after being summoned. Seems strong. Every minion starts with 25. Sorry, 15 barrier. Why can I not speak or just read? Every overcharge reduces the armor of all enemies. Give me stronger golems, please. Perfect. Right, we gain a tower. I use another candle. And we fight. Right, we have my golem. So he's going to take all the hits here for me. Perfect. I'm going to summon a blood... Uh, am I going to put some more blood fair? You know what? I'm going to do blood prep instead. To give me an abomination. Just the one I wanted. And then I'm going to promote him. We're not going to harvest. Uh, do I want another blood golem? I don't think I do. Okay, give me 200% damage this turn. That's fine. Do I want another Blood Golem? I can't quite decide. I think we definitely want to put you the armor on you. I think we just stick a bunch of barrier on you and just sort of like sit in a holding position. Right. I do have promotion and I do have a Blood Worm. I think we summon Blood Worm. And we promote this guy. Okay, why did he explode? Is it if I promote them to a certain level, they explode? I, I, I don't get what went on then. Oh, next promotion will cause this minion to overcharge. I see, so they can't go to an insane level. So he overcharged and so he did a 200% hit and then died. And what's my ultimate? Ultimate ability, overcharge a minion. Okay. I'm sure it. And the they promote at the end of turn, is it? As well? Why did he just die? I, I don't get what's going on. <laughs> There's something I still don't understand. I summon a, a blood fair. I shall do ritual to activate a minion. You. Uh. Hmm. What are you doing right now? You're going to perform a buff. Changes to everyone's damage on overcharge. Interesting. Well, I don't know where the damage is coming from now, so I think I need to put a block on me. I could blood prep. I think I just do this. Okay, we took another hit there. That's kind of bad. Hey, a blood golem. Sure, I want this. So if I overcharge you, will you heal me? Because it says. This actually, when you found source for action, I heal all allies, but he won't take the block for me. I think is the problem. And your activation is heal itself, right? Got you. I think I get what's going on. I think.
So I think this turn I do Oath Charge of Minion. If I do this, you're gonna heal me, right? Right, I, I sort of get why that happened. That makes sense. Uh ooh. <laughs> Am I can I get the kill here? Reduce armor of all enemies. Or draw, draw two cards next turn. Give me another blood thing. Give me some barrier. Promote this guy. I promoted him, therefore he died. You have some protection then. And please hit him. Yep, that all went onto me. Terrific. Summon you. Sacrifice a minion, promote all the minions. That's not what I want to do right now. Do I just end my turn here? Because I'm not doing any damage. It's kind of scaring me. So he is growing over time. I think I have to blood prep. I have to get a minion to, you know, do an attack. And you will do an attack for me. Then. If I do this, I'll get healed, I think. Thank you. And then I activate this guy to get the kill. I didn't get the kill, but I will next. On, like, the attack phase. It's blowing my mind. Create 20% barrier. Perfect. Activate a minion and draw a card. Promote and activate all minions. And at the end of each turn, this minion gains 10 barrier. I can see the benefit of that. The middle one, Battle Enchantments. Awakening. I think that's bad. I think Awakening is actually bad for me. The ma like the mana cost doesn't seem quite right because like act if it, like just a single cost activation is one mana, so what I'm getting is three of those bundled together plus a promotion added on top. So I like I discount one mana effectively plus the bundle. But ha it only works if I have like three minions. But how many times in that last battle did I have three minions? Like they're blowing up all over the place. Drawing a card isn't too bad. I'm gonna reroll again. I'm gonna try the aggressive reroll. So activate all minions is two mana. Or stun all enemies is two mana. Give me stun all enemies. I know it's risky for the boss, but... I think slow playing is not too bad. You greet the former prisoner, but uh -oh. he still doesn't answer. He rattles his chains in a rhythm as if trying to communicate. You can't understand what these clattering sounds might mean. Train. Gain 5% damage each turn, every 10th hit is doubled, increase the maximum damage you deal by 3. Make me get progressively stronger? I don't know if that means you get 5% every turn. You know what, I'm going to test it. If it's literally 5% at the start of each turn, I think it's worse than the 3. Uh, you know what, we'll risk it. Right, I would like to kill the healer, please, but I don't have an option to select, so. I'm going to do this and get the Blood Abomination. Perfect. Just who I want it. I think we want to get our summons out as soon as possible. I want to give you some armor. And then... I'm going to summon a Blood Fae as well. Yes, they all ding next at uh, one turn. Okay. I'm beginning to understand what's going on, I think. I can mass stun all enemies for two. I'm trying to just get this right. I also don't get why my ult has charges. Why why is it better to get more charges? Does it like extra power the effect? So like four of twelve right now is a hundred percent to us, so I just get the hundred percent overcharge. And if I wait more and more to go to like 300% and so on. That's how I'm guessing it works. 
Either way, I'm going to summon you because I want you to get going. So do these all overcharge at four and explode? Is this what goes on? I'm just going to save harvest, but I kind of want to harvest the blood fair. I'm just telling you what I would have liked to have done. Then activate a minion. How about we activate this guy? But I want to blood golem and make him explode to heal everyone if he's about to explode. Yeah, so so if he's going to hit five, he overcharges on the promotion. I don't know if it's different for every unit, but it definitely is for him. Make an offering. Offering self-inflicted loss of resources or statistics. So I don't want to harvest. Or do I want to harvest? If I harvest Blood Fae, although... I'm going to try this. So I get a heal off this. I've then got a Blood Golem in my hand, so I'll just summon the next Blood Golem. And now this is at 200%. If I sack this, how much healing do I get? So I think, I sh it just says heal all allies as well. It can tell you how much. It's so like frustrating. Heal all allies, what I what? Also, he's about to explode now. Which is not great. Maybe I'll hold off on that one actually. We'll get another attack in here. And just wait. So this guy can take some hits for me, so I don't get hit. And then just before we win, which might be coming up now actually, we just sack him. I think that's the play. Oh my god, he's about to blow up too. I don't know if I'm going to get the kill here. Just in case, I put a barrier on myself. That we did get the kill. Okay, I should have blew him up then. I couldn't work out with the negation if that would be fine. Just like small misplays like this on this character is like so like brutal. Pied Piper? Teach me any songs? No. No, I don't want it. I had a little, like, second thought. It's Rune Boy. Show me your finest runes, please. Uh, stunning Enemy. Oh. Give me the abomination, thank you. Protect this guy. Here's the buff and debuff. I think I just activate this guy. I've not used... Oh no, I've used Harvest once. I still don't know if that was the correct play. I think it is. Right, I can start doing some promotions. Promote this guy. I don't think I'd promote him again. I think I just activate him twice now. To do some damage from me. Right, that corrupted giant doesn't actually bother me as so much as you think it would do. I'm at the point now as well where my next promotion will cause an overcharge. Which is good. I think I want Blood Fey out. I'll just, I think I want Blood Golem as well out. And then I think I sack this guy, who I know he's going to do a hit, to get a heal, an AoE heal. And now you take the hits instead. Nice, the overcharge in there, and it explodes. Okay, I, I'm getting this, I think. 
I'm starting to get it now. You're gonna live, so I'm not gonna keep. Ah, uh, well, you might not live actually. You know what? I want to get the heal off you, so I think what I'm actually going to do. Although, what do you get on the promotion? Plus one hit. Oh, he goes to four, so I don't really want to promote him because I will lose my heal then. This is really annoying. I think we just stunned. I think that's literally it. Oh, I, I could have activated him. My bad. That would have been the more sensible play. This doesn't really matter. Right. I have to actually hurt this guy. So I think I will summon the Hulk Abomination. You're about to explode. So what I actually want to do is this. To give me 10 health. But now I don't know where this damage is coming to. So I'll throw some barrier on me. So I take nothing. And we'll start chomping this guy down. But I want the worm really. That's my next main goal is to get worm. Is barrier not reducing on me by the way? Because I don't get why that's happening. Because I still got 20 barrier. Or is it? No. I have no idea. Might as well activate. I have nothing I can do. I wouldn't mind adding another summon to my deck, I think. There's my worm. I, I lost my little fey guy, that's fine. It literally doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not losing barrier. Why? I have no idea. Okay, you're gonna get sacked this turn. But I might as well leave you to attack. I could summon another Blood Golem. You know what? We're going to make a really weird play. I'm going to summon Blood Golem. And I'm just going to instantaneously sack him for a heal. Thank you. 20 heal. Okay, that is working as I intend. And I think the heal is 10 normally. And if it's at 200%, it gives me 20 instead. So that's pretty nice to know. Uh, do I want to promote this guy? I really don't want to promote. I think I just want to do that. Okay, we're finally getting some little hits in. Hmm. Reduce armor on all enemies. It's not terrible. I don't want to harvest now because I'll lose his attacks next turn. I think I just throw out the stun. Very slow, but it is getting us there. And then, you know, activate. If I promote you, you'll overcharge. Overcharge just one hit for 200% damage. No, we just leave now, we just end turn. You're dead. Grim Abomination, stuff. Offer 5% of your HP to summon a Blood Abomination. And it costs 1. I just said I wanted some summons, so I'm going to take it. After summoning, activate the summoned minion. Okay. Increase the max HP of all minions by 10%, or when your HP is below 25%, all offerings restore HP instead of hurting you. I don't think that's that as good as it sounds because as soon as you go above twenty five percent, you like you'll lose it. So it basically means I can still cast stuff below twenty five percent HP. I think activating the summon minion when you summon it is better. If it was fifty percent HP, I might have considered it. Sometimes I think the stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Give me a random rare one, please. Cracked eel. All right, let's equip this this time. In weapon slot, every three turns you always deal maximum damage, or in an arm slot, every three turns all enemies deal minimum damage. Basically garbage, but give me the damage. Right, what is this? It looks like some sort of altar. Pop a weird candle. Oh, I think this is an altar I tried to steal off once. 
and that did not go to plan. Anyway, Bloodworm, let's throw them out. They immediately activated, I remember. I shall promote. And end turn. I'm not sure how I feel about the promotions in this deck. I don't know if they're actually necessary, which sounds kind of weird. All right, let's protect this guy from the pain that's coming. Ooh, one hit for a lot of damage. Hmm. Give me Blood Fae. I'm going to activate this guy, because he's doing my damage, and he's producing armor. I don't think I want to promote him. I think I want to just throw Barrier on you, just to protect you a little bit. So my Blood Golem's about to explode, so I'm actually kind of happy enough just to sack him for this. Summon another Blood Golem. Yeah, I can't make this go again, so... Goodbye, Blood Golem. Give me a 10 heal. And a Grim Abomination. Perfect. I, uh, yeah, we well, do protect the attack, so... Don't need to worry about that. You're dead. He gets promoted. He's about to die as well, unfortunately. I can protect him, though. By just doing a max stun. Is the max stun the correct play, though? I think it is. Or at least I think it's fine as a play. He gets a heal. He's going to explode now, so... That's something. So since he's going to explode, I'm not going to put the protection on him. I'm going to, in fact, blood rights. Summon a Blood Abomination. Protection here. I'm then going to use my Overcharge here to give me the heal for 20 instead. So we're going up and up and up. But now we don't know where these attacks are actually going. It's kind of the only weakness. But I'm putting the barrier on me. Yeah, all the attacks go on me, basically. Uh, anyway, you're both dead, so I do not need to spend any more of my HP. I shall do that. And just to guarantee, I'll do that. And how about you activate him? Perfect. Uh, I don't play that many cards per turn, so I actually have enough to just give me 10 armor. All Mother's Altar. Ask for healing. A blessing. This asks for money as well, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Just say, you spend 200 cards and you get a legendary card. The priestess. Just heal me. Okay, it's a treasure guy. I'll try you. I guess I don't have to, like, do anything on that. I could have waited and, like, you know, tried to earn more money and come back to the event. Now that I think about it. Anyway, doesn't matter. So there's a lot of enemies here. You drain HP from allies. So I think the game plan here is to just continuously kill your allies. But I can't really target, so I'm going to summon my Blood Abomination. I'm going to summon my Blood Fey as well. And then I'm going to put Protection on Blood Golem. There you go. And then I have Mana for Ritual. Activate a minion. I shall activate you. Do a little swing. And get bigger. So you have one more level until you pop. I think it's always right to summon a Blood Golem. I don't think I'm ever going to be unhappy by that. In fact, I'm going to promote you. Right, this guy's going to go pop. So I would like to ult you to heal. Sun all enemies for two turns. That seems incredible. Let's do that. Give me a heal. Thank you. I'm up to a nice amount of HP. And then, just to make this go a little bit quicker, summon a Blood Abomination. 
You know what? I think I'm actually going to use Harvest. I'm going to sap the minion to level everyone up. He's now going to explode and heal everyone, which is pretty good. I am promoting too much. Get a hit in, another stun. He pops and I get a heal. Nice. Nice. Uh, we're going to blood prep. Because they would like more units. Get you. Put the protection here. We are going to activate the guy that's strong. Like so. And enter. Uh, they're finally not stunned. But they're in a really bad place right now. I'm going to blood prep again. Ah, uh, not who I wanted, but I'll summon the worm. I'll summon the fae. There's no real reason to overcharge anything right now, so I'll just save my ult. Cool. I'm going to... Oh, I really want to get a golem. I think I'm going to harvest my blood fae. And then put barriers on me. Goodbye, blood fae. Promote everyone. This guy's going to go boom, but it doesn't matter too much. Ah, I should, I should have done it. you're going to pop this turn, that is fine by me. I'll just do the hit. Give me barrier. Promote this guy. And we're good. Please, Blood Golem. Thank you. Oh, it goes to 400% at 12 as well. I didn't have any clue about that. Anyway, just get popped and heal me. We'll promote you. So we get the kill. Okay, that wasn't too hard. I have a horrible feeling about fighting Stone Golem. Unlock a new combat slot for items, gain a big pile of weird shards, unlock a new weapon slot, sure. Oh, it's this combat again. We had the Captain, training grounds last train time. If you feel like it. These may be sure, hit me with all you've got. Okay, it's this combat again. We want to kill the Mindbender first, but I can't really control that. This could be really bad, actually, for this character. But we'll try. I think we just want to get as much damage out as possible. I think, naturally, the Mindbender is just going to die first. But not being able to target units makes this Primeval Grub dangerous. Anyway, I would like a Blood Fake, please. Mainly because... Uh, do I want to sack him immediately and promote everyone? Yeah, sure. So he now hits instead. And he's going to explode, but he will take the hits first for me, which is pretty good. Oh, if I activate him now, his hit does... Where is it? A level 4 deal one hit with a chance to stun instead. That seems pretty nice. But he might hit that guy. So, in that case, we should do this first. Declare the summon. And then I'm going to activate you. He did get the stun off. Cool. He's going to explode and heal. Beautiful. Uh, give me another abomination, please. 
We just want to continuously have extra minions on the field, I think. I think that's the game plan of this. Nice. Blood Golem as well helps. Everything that goes towards the Blood Golem is something that's not coming towards me, like damage wise. I'm going to Blood Right. Ah, I got the two energy one. That's a bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'll stick Barrier here, and I think I'm going to harvest this guy and promote my other units. Right, he pops this turn anyway, but I could get a big heal off him. Do I need the big heal? Hmm, I'll think about it. I could make him pop as well, which will do four times that, so I guess it's 800 damage to all enemies. But I don't really want to. Let's promote my worm. I think I am going to get the big heal. 40 heal, I'll take him back to full. And then protection, increase a minion's armor. I'll put this on you. This probably is going to come towards me, right? No, he didn't. That's pretty good going for me. It attacked this guy, so I don't think he got his over thing ability, but whatever. Hey, another blood golem. Just what I was after. Now let's expect this guy. And you split. This is now where this house gets scary. I'm going to blood prep. And then we're going to summon both abominations, the grim ones. We want AoE damage as fast as possible. And just start separating these guys. I think that's the game plan now. We just crunch them down. Okay, you're going to explode this turn. That is fine. We blood prep. We'll summon you. Activate a minion. Uh, you know what, I'm going to promote one of you as well. And then I'm going to activate you. I was considering harvesting here, but I don't think I will. We got a stun off as well because he's level 4. He pops, he gives me a heal. Can we get him with blood golem? <laughs> you see the game plan now? Right, you're going to pop this turn as well. How about I activate you though? You know what, I want to try this. How much damage is this going to do? Yeah, that did a lot of damage, it turned out. I'm pretty content with that, because it was 800% damage. If I understand it correctly. I might not understand it correctly, of course. Okay, we want to get to a point where this guy can pop again, but I don't think we're going to get there. Nope, we're not. I should just not summon anything there. Because you're just going to clear the board. I wasted two health. It's fine. Grim Golem, I'll take it. As the monster disappears in a cloud of smoke, you will... Congratulate. Yeah, we got this. Polished Thorn. There we go. Mythical. In weapon slot, every additional card drawn creates two barrier. Or 200% of off HP is turned into barrier. Every additional card drawn. I'm just trying to think. Every additional card drawn. So, like, is this outside of my draw phase? Because I'm not drawing too many cards. I'm drawing, like, one a turn. I think it's better in my armor slot. Because I do offer, like, a decent amount of HP. Every additional card drawn. I wish it'd just say, like, outside your draw phase. If it was that, then I'd get the card exactly. Nope. Why were you literally right in front of me? Wait. Anyway, it's fine. Give me a Grim Abomination. Uh, do I want to stun? No, it doesn't matter. I'll promote you, and then we'll ritual you. Uh, do I Blood Prep again? Sure. 
Another blood golem. I'll seek protection on him. And then... I think I'm good. I'm intrigued how this will work. I presume he's going to get attacked first, but I don't know. Maybe it'll split the damage. Yeah, I don't need to do a promotion this turn. I don't need to do a harvest. You know what? Stick barrier on me. My barrier is definitely staying every turn as well, which is really, really nice. Okay. Blood prep. I'm trying to get this to 10, I think. Blood Fey. Gives me my ult. Then sack this guy for a big chunk of HP. And then I think I play the Blood of Nation while there's still two there. Beautiful. So I'm gonna get. A, oh, never mind. I'm not gonna get the heal. We're gonna, just gonna kill them instead. In a weapon slot, the first turn can't draw one additional card. Okay, now I've got a, a question. Why was this here? Why were the two combats in here? Or did I accidentally get to this before the combat? I, I don't know. Anyway, before I waste all my thing. Is there a synergy here to have this? Draw one additional card with the cost reduced by one. Right. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put this here now. And then I draw a card at the start of each turn additional. So that will give me two barrier every turn. Then if I'm going to use my blood right thing to give me another draw, that can give me another two barrier. Is that better than the armor slot, though? You know what? I, I actually don't think it is. I think all oh, this was stupid. But that might be nice, though, the additional draw either way. Rather than every three turns, you always deal maximum damage. Yeah, I think we do this. I think this is fine. I know I'm missing out on, like, a synergy, but... Okay, the golem is there. I think I do one more combat. Give me a blessing. He gave me five health. Thanks. Right, after we've killed this guy, I think we move on to fight the boss. And I'm super scared about the boss with this guy. Uh, let's throw protection here. Throw more barrier on me. I'm going to blood press. Okay, not the one we were after. I'll activate him to give me some more ult charge. And I'll draw two more cards next turn. I guess I should take that into account. We can always get draw there as well, depending on where we put that room. Interesting. I'm going to summon Blood the Abomination, because there's just two guys to fight, and I think that's fine. I don't think I'm going to Blood Prep either. Bit of a waste of my draw, but... Anyway, these guys are both going to pop. I think I do with this though. I think that is my game plan. Increase blood makes damage by 100%. Decrease damage on all you with 30%. I was just wondering about overcharging this guy instead, which then doubles all my hits. But I think I want the, the big heal, or the bigger heal. Like so. And then we can just start setting up again, I suppose. Summon this guy. I, I just can't quite think right now where I want my damage to go. Like, do I want to like promote this guy, for example, to just do a little bit more damage? I mean, I don't have promotion in my hand, but it's that type of like algorithm. I'm just doing it off like how I feel right now, which probably isn't how I should be doing this. It's working anyway. We get another heal off the Blood Golem. It's pretty good. In fact, it's so good that I'm going to summon another one. And then I'm just going to end the turn. Okay, we don't need any more summons now.
Right, he's going to blow up this. Oh, he's already blown up. Never mind. Okay, so we got a big damage boost this turn. I don't think we need to summon. I think we get the kill this turn. So I think I just save my mana. Yeah, I literally think that's what we do. I, I do a heal here. We've got the kills here. I just promote this guy. And then end turn. I'll stun just in case. Uh, weirdness mushroom, great. Place redirect effect on an enemy for two turns. I can see the benefit. Activate a minion. Heal it by 50% of its HP. I can see the benefit. I start of each turn promote the minion. That is probably bad. I'm going to take marking. Just because of the boss I'm about to fight. Uh, Blood fate get promoted. Every overcharge heals all minions their max HP. Again, I can see the benefit. I'm going to take that. I could see the benefit of the, the Fey one as well. As you approach, you draw yeah, we've seen this. Possible HP loss will loot the hanging tree. Something falls out of one of the corpses' pockets. Nice, we got a cracked tan. How many runes are we going to get this run? Reduce armor of all in a 10. Or increase my max HP by 30. That's kind of dangerous. Because I have no way of healing right now. This is heal 5 HP after every combat one. Maybe we should have had cracked calc here. I think I'm going to mess about with the runes again later. Nah. I think that's fine. And then I think we'll just go fight the boss. I only have one weird candle left. Just before I do that. I'm sorry, I just remembered. I don't want the blood candle here. I'd rather have the mushroom. Okay. Right, I don't mind having two blood golems. I don't mind having a room abomination. So I think we do that. We do that. One hit for two to four. I don't want it in my deck, really. I don't know if it stays in my deck. I think it just disappears, actually. But let's just get rid of it. And that's a good start. Gain one block and draw one energy. I don't need this. It's unnecessary. Do I want to mark him? How long does it last? Two turns. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put the marking here. Off of 5 HP gives me another golem. I like golems. I think with like excess energy like this, I've just put the barrier on me. And then we want to activate a minion. This guy. It's only doing one to two, but still. We definitely want the worm, I think, for this guy. That's fine. He's going to pop and do a heal for me. We do have the worm. Definitely the guy I want out. Nine more hits. Draw four cards next turn. We just don't need four cards. I'd rather reduce your armor. And do more damage. Uh, create ten barrier or activate a minion. Oh, I have to be careful here because you're going to do a stun, aren't you? You scumbag. Wait, I want this guy to pop, I think. Immediately. I'm going to pop him so he doesn't do the stun. And then summon the blood fest. Again, I kind of don't want you to do what you're about to do. I don't want to stun the golem. Three times eleven. Don't stun him, please. Okay, I'm going to promote a unit because I have to. To get my ult. And then I'm going to sack this Blood Golem. Blood Golem was the perfect get here. Summon a Blood Golem. <laughs> and I think that's the end of the turn. 
You die. I live with it. Then a unit dies, and because a unit dies or overcharges, you heal. Perfect. It's starting to come together. All right, you're going to pop this turn. But I could harvest you and promote all my other units. But then he will stun, and I don't want him to stun. So I think I don't do the harvest. I think I just activate. Where are you in terms of your thing? One more hit. Am I ready to go? I think I'm ready to go. I keep reducing armor as well. So currently 58 comes here. Essentially up to 70. He could die. It'd be pretty unlucky if he dies, I think. Uh, what's the average damage? Like 64, 71, uh, maybe 72. I think he's going to live, but it'd be very close. It's not guaranteed. Oh, no, no, he gets the 10 health first. Yeah, I think it's guaranteed he lives, but he'd be very low. Okay, he lives on 1 HP. Anyway, I'm at this perfect setup now to make him explode. We're going to blood press. One more. Oh, we've got marking too. Great. Let's use marking. I'll summon a blood fest. And then pop this guy for the heal. I'm really scared by where this damage is going. I don't want to do the mass AoE stun because that'd be bad. I think I just put more barrier on myself. In fact, I just play the cards I've got in my hand. I activate this guy. Okay, marking was kind of pointless in the end, but we'll do a seize the opportunity. Nine more hits, sure. We're doing it. Yeah, that swiped to me. 48 of 108 barrier. Why is it remembering my max barrier? I just don't get what's going on right now. Hey, a big hit of Tainted Force. I'll take it. Blood prep. We want a golem. Thank you, game. You gave me a golem. I'll protect the golem. And then we'll start building barrier back up on me. I just don't need to gamble. Okay, we summoned another uh, dude. That's fine. Blood right. Get another golem. I'm never going to say no to golems. Stick some barrier on me. He's going to pop, so... I don't think I'd be promoting. Do I promote this blood golem? Or even this one? No. I think I just leave this. I think this is fine. He might die. He didn't. Pretty lucky, actually, that he didn't. Do, 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 do. He's going to pop this turn, though. Okay. Blood prep. Gives me blood, blood domination. Not what I wanted, but we'll take it. Then, we'll pop you to heal. Perfect. You're also going to pop. I don't care. Yes, I don't care. Harvest has basically been a dead card in my deck. It's my bad, but... How was I supposed to know? And my golem's going to get eviscerated, by the way. That's also fine. What isn't fine is I don't have that many units anymore. So we need to deal with this. Activate minion. Attack, please. Attack, please. Perfect. 425 HP. I think we're going to get him. Blood prep. Gives me another blood golem. Put some of the Grim Abomination too. And do one massive hit. I could pop this guy. But I think he's just going to take the hits for me. Like, he'll just be the defense. Like 
So, uh, am I at the point yet? You know what? I'm not going to risk it. Let's just we'll prep. Okay, here's our worm, who we very rarely see. We've summoned another guy. He only has 16 HP, so he's actually dead. Which is incredible news. In fact, I can do it with this. I think you're dead, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We beat the first boss. Yeah, we know. Echo, echo, echo. So I can take the Weirdstone Heart. I don't think I am going to this time, though. Or take a special passive skill. After killing an enemy, you heal yourself for two. Hmm. Every tenth card played. You know what? Give me some heals. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. Candle maker seamstress. I think I have to buy some more weird candles. Good to see you. Give me all your weird candles. Oh god, they got more expensive. Sheesh. You know what, let's make the duration better. That sounds better. Pretty good. Okay, I only have 166 gold. You're back already. Uh, can I remove a card? Yes, for 100. What do I want to remove? Honestly, I'm going to remove Promote a minion, I think. Where is it? Promotion. I'm just going to remove one. Oh, you have to do it here, don't you? It's kind of weird, this menu. I'm barely using it. Just get it out. That gives me some more of debt shreddings as well, whatever it's called. The blacksmith. Can I transmute runes? Transmute three of your own runes into one of the same rarity. Do it. Do I have to have them unequipped? One second. Like, if I unequip all these, because I've got three uncommons now, can I transmute them? Because we have to do this at some point. Try and unlock transmuting runestones. Oh, I've not unlocked it yet. How do I get five of these things? Every time you merge runestones. I have no way of doing it, though. I have to unlock it with this thing. I, I don't know. I did say just before we left, I do want to... Maybe if I buy them as well. Maybe you get them then. Reduce armor. Each card can increase your damage. Okay, I'm just going to buy a random rune. No, it didn't. I was hoping to get some dust. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's like the only thing now in the main square that I just don't get. Either way, every three turns you always do maximum damage. That's honestly fine. You can gain a draw, reduce armor, or increase damage. I've not really been paying attention to that even though I asked about it before. You know what? Draw an additional card. I'm fine with that. Draw through my deck faster. And then let me quickly check here. Summon your wolf. Oh! Cool, you can just add the wolf back to my deck again. I guess. Cool. We can rest once to heal. I don't think we do that right now, though. And I also want to save my weird things. Okay. Where are we going? <laughs> I think I'm done. Buy consumables, buy upgrades. I have no money. And the seamstress. Let me just check the blood stuff. I have 101 blo blood. Remove curses. Don't have any. Get a random passive skill. Or upgrades. This is what we want, really. Start each one with 5 armor. Increase your damage by 1. Increase weirdstone gain by 1. Increase your wealth gain by 10%. Give me five armor at the start of every battle. Make me a bit tougher. Perfect. Okay. For the first time in like three videos, we're in the second area. Let me just run into the corner. Oh, you're a ruined house. Oh, this is the guy we want to talk to though, isn't it? 
Let's see. Blood Tarver. The enemy will attack only when there are blood stones on the battlefield. I've never seen you before. You look cool as hell, though. I don't know how you move around, because it appears you have, like, roots for legs, and they just sort of, like, tap against the floor. But, anyway. Who am I to judge? We're going to summon Blood Fae. I'm going to put protection on you. Protection on you, please. Reduce damage of all enemies by 75% this turn. No, don't need to. They're all coming on to this guy anyway, and I just don't care. Give me my blood work, so I would actually like to damage this game. Should I summon the other Grim Golem? Or should I wait for Abomination? I think I would wait for Abomination. I think I just promote a unit. And just start getting moving. But this is kind of the setup for this. Okay, so the Bloodstone has now been summoned, so you will attack. Cool. I also didn't notice, actually, the mana discounted Abomination costs more to summon health-wise. So that's how it's attempted to be balanced, at least. Uh, should I promote every unit once? I am going to. I'm finally going to use Harvest again. Sack him. Then we're going to heal off this guy. And summon another Blood Golem. So he's going to pop as well, but that's fine. I'm honestly barely looking at what the enemies are doing. <laughs> I'm just sort of playing my own game. Oh, I have markings. Who do I want to kill? I want to kill the, the healer. There you go. Get marked. I think I want another unit, so let's blood prep. Not the one I wanted, but we'll take it. I could get rid of Disturbance from my deck, but I really don't care. Uh, we killed the healer anyway. Basically the perfect turn. Okay, this golem is getting smacked a lot. He's about to pop as well, which is a bit annoying. I'll protect you. Summon another Grim Abomination. And then I'm gonna sack you for health. And summon a Blood Fae. And then finally, I'm going to promote the Blood Fair. He's just going to give me Ult Charge so that hopefully I can pop this Blood Golem next turn. And I can. Deal a hit for 17 to 27. Hmm. Maybe. I summon Bloodworm. In attack mode. I'll use Blood Prep. Oh, I've made a misplay. It's fine, I can get around it, but it's a bit annoying. Maybe we just let this guy hit, actually, rather than use my ult. I think that's the fix. Yeah, I think that's the, f the fix. And then we'll just get the damage here. I was hoping to get this to 8, and I don't know why I miscounted. So that I'd get 200% heal. But obviously I didn't. Bless. Deal the highest damage. Oh, this is off the rune. Okay. Okay. Blood Golem. Nice. Grim Golem. I'll take it. I'm almost tempted just to pop him instantaneously. You know what? I am. Because I think I can get the kill on all but the Bounty Hunter. So give me a big heal, please. I'm then going to promote this guy and Ritual on him. So this now will kill everything else before it attacks, I think. Because aren't they doing max damage? Yeah, so this is going to do 25 twice, it's going to do 50. I just don't think you're going to get the kill, are you? Because that's 80. Yeah, we're not going to quite get the kill. But I've got enough barrier that I just don't care. Yep. 
Oh, you summoned another tainted race corpse. Whatever. You're dead. I just don't care. Sat HP. Get one of these guys. I'll protect him. Because why not? One guy left. I don't need the heal. Let's just do this. That didn't do as much as I was hoping, not gonna lie. Summon a blood collar. I'll mark you. Ritual. Right, you're dead now, right? I think so. Can I get a heal off this? I don't think I can. I don't think it's actually worth it. I think we just do this. Boop. How many of you have you got? Like, how many are there? How deep do you go? Alright, let me summon the blood bone again then. Let me get the AoE heal, I suppose. Let me ritual here. No here. Thank you, you finally died. A throwing knife. Beautiful. I'll take it. Activate a minion for zero. Activate all minions two times for three. Promote all minions. I don't like holy promotion. Activate a minion for zero feels pretty strong. But activate all minions two times for three. I think the average number of minions I get is like two probably. So it would be... Oh, maybe it's two and a half. I think the mana cost of that's pretty good. I don't think it's that terrible. But really, what do I gain from benefit from that? I'm going to take it, I think. No, you know what? I'm going to take Dark Rights. Give me the, the zero cost option. I think if I had one more energy, I would take it. Anyway, it's this guy again. You. Yeah, I know you're hungry. A certain druid asks you to come back. I'm not going in your... That's what I thought you were going to say. I'm hungry. I don't think I have any food. Oh, I have a weird mushroom. The Would you like a mushroom? Okay, no mind, I don't. His voice becomes a growl. <laughs> His nightly features fade as he shifts into an enormous, grotesque uh -oh. creature. Suddenly, he's stinking, huge and drooling. Perhaps offending this noble creature wasn't the best idea. I, I was hoping you would eat the mushroom. Oh, gotta fight him now. All right. Pain in the proverbial. Oh my god, this is a tough battle. I just noticed your HP pools. And you're all doing quite a lot of damage. Promote. Promote. Uh, do I harvest this guy just to give it another promotion? I don't think I do. I could summon another Grim Golem though. Right, we have markings now, so I think we go hard on one unit. Why did I pick the one with one more health? I don't know. We just did. I'm going to summon one more guy. And then I'm going to just do a mass stun. We're slowly getting in there. Gain 50% damage this turn or gain 10 armor next turn. I guess I'll gain the 10 armor. I have a blood golem in my hand. Uh, do I sack this guy? I mean, it has been working. Sure. Sack for health. Summon another blood golem. Put protection on him. And then sure, throw a barrier on him. Oh, we've also got Dark Rights. I forgot about that. There's Dark Rights here. It's all been redirected onto him, so that's pretty good for me. And now he's going to pop.
Gives us all a hit heal as well because he's popped. Beautiful. Right, you're hitting for 87, which is frankly disgusting, and you're going to kill him. Unless I put barrier on him. I think if I put two barriers, he survives. And then we'll summon another green collar. From what I can see about redirect, the units on the field first is the one that gets targeted. Okay, he still died and I don't understand why. That's kind of unfortunate. I have a big damage boost this turn as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's no point putting the redirect on you, really. Because you're going to die anyway. We blood prep. Yeah, blood worm. Good choice game. Kind of who I wanted. I think I'm going to promote him as well. And he's fine. So he just does one huge hit every three turns. That's his deal. You do not frighten me at all. Not what I wanted. I'm going to pop him to get the heal. Uh, I could promote this guy and then make him attack f four times. You know what? I don't hate it. And by four times, I mean twice. Okay, cool. Because he's going to have going to get another attack and then he's going to overdrive, whatever it's called. Heal this guy. Beautiful. Just in time to get another golem. Put a marking on. Blood prep. Gave me a unit I didn't want. I put this on the abomination. And I put this on me. It's working. It's slow. Right, you're doing 137 damage and the golem has to stay up this turn. Got marking again, so get marked. Another golem. There. Two barriers on this golem, I guess. You're dead. Goodbye. Finally, some actual DPS units. I approve. I keep forgetting that I could just do with one more mana. It'd make things so much easier. Okay, we're going to activate... Ooh, who do I activate here? I'm considering actually doing this, but on here. So they did me a four times. That's at least a 400% increase for my damage and like 120 down for them. Kind of an interesting thought. But what I'm actually going to do is promote. And then Dark Rites. I'm happy enough for you to pop. I don't think I need to harvest you. Okay, just one unit. This should be fine as long as I always leave a golem up. Newsflash, it's kind of hard to leave a golem at all times. Uh, we might as well put protection here because I'm actually going to pop you. The heal. Sure, let's put marking on him, even though it doesn't matter. Right, I have to have a blood golem out. So, get out. We'll activate this guy who does the most DPS. And then we'll activate him one more time. I'm going to try and get away with not doing another blood right, I think. I think I can kill with what's here. Although maybe I do want to summon one more guy. Yeah, we, we, we have enough time. I'm just trying to play into a situation where, you know, I don't waste some health. I kind of wish I could get marking out my deck right now, but you can't. You're doing one hit for 200. You know what? Why don't I just stun you? How did that feel, y'all? Oh, he can't be stunned. Yeah, I need to stun. Okay. That is still perfectly okay. You might not think this, but it is. Offer 4 HP. So I could offer 4 HP. Hmm. 
This is gonna look weird, but I think I do this. I prove no, I don't. I activate here. And then I use my ult on you to get 10 health. So I healed for six instead, because I think I'm gonna kill you this turn. And I'll just throw a barrier. Why is Barry not decaying anymore? Has that been patched? Did it change? I don't know. Synergy. Offer 5% of your max HP. Invoke Blood Fae and Blood Worm. Invoke summons the minions and instantly activate their powers. Invokes can only be placed once per combat. That's interesting. Two pillars is a summon. Offer 10% of your HP invoke two blood golems. That's pretty powerful too. Sacrifice all minions. Increase damage by 10% until the end of combat for every sacrifice minion. No. <laughs> we don't want that. They're both really interesting to me. I would kind of like both of them. Do I want more blood golems though? Blood Golems are my lifeblood. Give me two Golems. I think it's better. After every overcharge, gain one energy for your next turn. That sounds incredible. I don't think the other two are that good. Comparably. Two energy at the start of your turn, though, isn't too bright. Just to set up. Okay, he's screwed off. Fair enough. Weird energy, is it silence again? I don't know. But we will try to protect you. Right, I want Blood Abomination out. I think I want the Blood Fae out as well. I would like to mark a unit to kill. And it's probably going to be the Bone Idol. Die Bone Idol. It almost feels like there should be some, like, pun there for Bone Idol, like, instead of Bone Idol. Stun all enemies for two turns. I don't care, strangely. You think I would do, but I don't. Perfect. Two pillars. Ooh, this won't summon two right now because I haven't got space for it, so let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Let's summon the blood one. Then, I think I'm going to promote here. And Dark Rising. Trying to get to like 8 out of 12 for next turn so that I can get the heal off Blood Golem. So two of my units are popping this turn, which is less than ideal. Clue to you, so goodbye. Give me the heal. Blood prep. Hey, Blood Golem back. Perfect. And then we can put protection on you so you're stronger. I can activate a minion. Which one are we going to activate? Eh. Uh, ah, oh shoot. It doesn't work very well because... He's going to die on the first hit, but he won't die to this. We might as well do this then. Uh, why is the Bone Idol still doing stuff, by the way? He has zero HP. Oh, he stays there unless there's no allies. That's different because we fought like five of these before. Hmm. Strange. Strange. Unusual. And we overloaded last turn, so we've got four mana this turn. Which is pretty good. Pretty good, honestly. Uh, I don't need to throw a barrier on you. I just throw it on me. I will dark right this guy. And barry you. Remember, this guy's going to split at 100. So I wouldn't mind getting some abominations out. Going to have four mana again this turn. Uh, not what I was after, but I'll live with it. 
Uh, who do we mark this time? No one right now. In fact, I'm going to activate you to kill the guy in the middle, and then we're going to mark this guy. We pop you for the heal. We do that. Oops. Oh, I don't quite split you. I think I can get the split on you. It's weird that I can target that and it has no health. It's kind of really, like, unfair. I have five energy right now. I guess because I've... Why do I have five energy? I don't know. I'm not going to complain. I keep hitting this thing and it has no health. Okay, I have placed four two blood golems. For sure, let's do it. Blood pillar. And get a bunch of supercharged blood golems. Let's get rid of that. And then we'll immobilize. I'll just stun everything. That better not be bugged, by the way. He took my promotion, which actually is pretty good for me, by the way. I just noticed. Let's mark this guy. Strong there. I'm just going to throw barriers on myself. I think I need one more unit to make this pop, but I can't do anything right now, so... I'm just doing this to get my ult up. Right, they're both going to pop now. Oh, they died. Never mind. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, another Grim Worm. And by another, I mean a Grim Worm. Shamanic Knowledge. Invoke Blood Fae. Mm, activate one minion two times and then sacrifice. I'm going to reroll. Activate all minions. Stun a chosen enemy. Reduce their arm by 25 until the end of combat. I'm going to skip. <laughs> I don't think any of that was good enough. I could have taken the Blood Worm, but I've got enough summons right now. There's an old saying. All that glitters is cold. Even still... When you notice a pale, shivering light between the trees at the edge of the weirdness, you feel beckoned to follow the light deeper into the forest. Possible loss of HP, follow As the light. walk deeper into the woods, the darkness grows ever more impenetrable and the light fades to shadow. The thorns of weirdness, twisted trees carve sigils into your flesh. I lose 10 HP. Keep following. You can still see the light, yet the distance between you and it never seems to close. There's no telling whether it's real or a figment of your imagination. No, it's real. Strange and twisted growths complicate your journey further. They crowd the path and taint the air, making it difficult to breathe. The spacing on that third line in the text looks really weird. Like, the, the spaces are so tight together. Strange. Keep following. The steps become slow and laboured as weakness spreads throughout your body. Logic tells you there's nothing to be found in these woods, but you continue out of what? Greed? Curiosity? Very much curiosity. What's that old saying about curiosity and a cat? No, nah, don't worry. This will pay off for me in the end. Is this just going to kill me? Because you're not even reading it out anymore. I I'm going to keep going on this. The creature oh. raises its hand and extends a wicked claw in your direction. Sorry, I skipped the first thing. Leaves rustle, twigs snap, and suddenly a mysterious creature emerges. Your heart skips. A dazzling light, the very same glow you've been following, shines from a cavity in the creature's chest. I'm going to wait. You hear a whisper mixed with faint, mocking laughter. Coward. Now I'll fight you. The creature disappeared. <sighs> Game. Right, if we get that event again, we just fight it. And now I know. What a waste of health. I was hoping it would wait and just like see what it did. You know, it hadn't attacked me yet. So I was like, 
Surely it'll give me like a chance to attack it again. Nope. Anyway, uh, I can stun you for a turn for one mana. That's pretty good, honestly. I don't think I'm going to two pillars this turn because I don't need it. I've really brought this in for the boss fights, in all honesty. Anyway, summon his room abomination. Uh, you know what? I don't even need the stun. Let me do this. A blood fay. Okay, we could get the stun in there. Or I could do it off this. You know what? We'll do it off that. We'll protect you. Who do I want to mark in this? Is there someone particularly I want to kill? I guess this guy that gets stronger and stronger. And then... You know what? Stun all enemies. That's an armor reduction, baby. Okay, we're going to blood right side. So I want one more unit. I'll take it. And then we're going to do ritual. And dark rites. You'll be unstunned this turn. That does not bother me. Right, you're going to pop, and instead of that, I want you to heal me. Then, to protect my other units, I'm going to summon another Prune Golem. Maybe I should have summoned a Blood Golem, actually. Oh, who cares. Just throw up some barrier. I think as long as we stagger or, like, uh, overcharges, we're fine. Okay, so you're doing a bunch of the old damage. In fact, I might be able to get the kills here. Two. So it's like an average of 30 versus an average of uh, just slightly more than 30. I think it's better to activate this guy. But yeah, we've got the kill. In fact, I'll pop you for the heal. And then we're good. This character has like an insane ability to, you know, just regenerate health. You have to be a bit careful about it, a bit, you know, smart of how you do it. I've also not used the flute the entire battle, I think. Like, the entire run. The old man strolls among the trees, observing the ground with interest. Strangely, he holds no weird candle in his hand, only a wooden walking stick. He lights up with joy as he sees you. We got to village. Oh, hello. I see you enjoy these strolls through the forest also. Yes. The man seems weirdly oblivious to the surrounding weirdness. Walking is healthy. And while I walk, I find things from all over. Want to see my collection? Yeah, sure. Handful of these can kill a human. Wolfberries. I've never seen them before. Weird tainted meat. Weirdness. Makes it taste like chicken. A severed foot no longer useful to its previous owner. An unidentified flower. Give me a severed foot. No. Uh, give me a severed foot. I have to now. I've also never seen this. Give me that. You know what? Give me this too. And this. Give me one of everything. I've never seen any of these things. And sure, in case like I come across a guy that's missing two feet, give me another foot. I just spent all my money here. Uh, host of evil. Hmm. I'll, we'll fight you. Are you wearing a hood? No, it was just weird shadowing. Alright, we probably want to kill the Mindbender. Do I want to draw two cards next turn? No. Reduce all their armors, please. You're not doing that much damage, so I'm not too concerned about you. I think I want a Blood Abomination out there. In fact, I think I want a Blood Anagrim. Then I Mind Bend here. I should have done this first. Bit of a misplay. Protection here. And Blood Prep into a, a number one? Yes. 
By number one, I mean a one cost creature. That's a pretty good start for me, honestly. Right, let's not let you do some weird things. Let's try and kill you as fast as possible. Activate a minion. Who do I want to activate? Probably these guys. Get activated. Get activated. And then I'll put barrier on me. I've got harvest and promote everyone, but I don't get well. Perfect. I honestly didn't look at the health pools again. I didn't know if you were going to live that attack. Probably should check. Am I going to be able to get four more ticks? I don't think I can, so let's do the heal first. So that I start building up towards my next ultimate and summon another one. Make you attack. And then I'll gain barrier. It'd be interesting if there's a skill that gives you a fifth, uh, a fifth, a sixth like slot for your party. I doubt it will work just because of like how the screen is laid out. So I presume it doesn't exist. But you know, it'd be neat nonetheless. Anyway, let's overcharge this guy. And by overcharge, I mean let's activate him. Am I going to get the kill this turn? So you're doing 13 to 20, so you're going to do 30 and then you do one hit for 200%. So you might do like, you know, a 45 type of damage, is that what we're going for? Maybe like 45, 50 type of thing. I could get the kill here, in fact I think I will do. So because of that, oh I don't need the sack, you know what, just leave it, just don't do anything. We left it on one. It, it's actually completely fine. Oh yeah, the overcharge kills you afterwards. Okay, we feel pretty strong, not gonna lie. Consecrated oil, I don't think I've ever seen. Have you ever seen how my main ventured this full? It's insane. Ooh, permanent reduced armor. Interesting. I can get a Grim Fang, which is zero. And Mystical Blood. At the start of each turn, the minion heals 50% of its missing HP. I can see the benefit of that, but I think I've got enough healing on my minions as it is. Do I have... I don't have 200 to reroll. I think I skip again. A Mastery. Whenever any minion overcharges, remove its sigils and return them to your hand. Their cost is reduced to zero. I don't have many sigils, so that's not great. HP lost through playing summon cards is multiplied by two and dealt as damage to all enemies. Does that mean that I take double the HP loss and then they take all damage? Whenever any minion overcharges, gain one ultimate charge for the, each minion alive. Give me that. Hello. Did you know that the weirdness can sometimes take the shape of our deepest desires or fears? That's how many weird spawns came to be. So, you said something about inviting me to your village. Yes, yes, yes. Go find my village. Meet the people there. <laughs> see if you can think of anything that could ease their pain. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you'll know the village once you see it with your own eyes. I can't pinpoint the exact direction since it's buried deep within the weirdness. Uh, Conscious Darkness completed. New quest, Perdition. What could it be? Uh, requires 10 health. I need weird candles. I need to forget. Re ooh, requires 60 HP. Remove up to 5 cards. If I was going to remove 5 cards, I could get rid of, like, a barrier. So I'd get rid of my promotion. I just don't need it anymore. So if it was, like, 1... Two, three. And then maybe one of these I get rid of. One of my minions. Like, the blood phase is actually kind of useful. Maybe I get rid of my blood golem and just deal, deal with the grim golem. But would that make me better, really? I don't think it does, though. I think my deck's already pretty tight as it is. The only card I would really get rid of is Promotion, I think. Get a random stat booth requires 10 health. Or 10 HP for a weird candle. You know what? Give me a weird candle, please. 
I'll, I'll deal with that. I honestly don't remember which direction I was going in. I think I was going this way. Okay, not going to lie, I did not see that giant hulking unit in front of me. I just walked into it, and it scared the hell out of me. <laughs> just, I'm apparently completely blind. Anyway, let's summon a Blood Abomination. I've got all the summons I need in my hand. And you know what? We're going to use two pillars. Give me two golems. And then we want to kill one of these guys as fast as possible. Again, I did this in the wrong order, but it's fine. What's this music about, by the way? I kind of like it. By the way, I'm happy enough to sack one of these golems, like, as soon as possible. In fact, I might even harvest. Would that be stupid? I don't think it is, strangely. So I get these as big boys now, they're gonna blow up this turn. We're gonna blood prep. So I'm gonna blood golem. I'm then gonna sack one of the golems to regenerate my health. And then summon another grim abomination. Put protection on you. I think I'm good. I think that was a pretty good turn. Especially if you take the hits. And he is. Because you're going to blow up anyway. And he heals me again. So my Abomination is going to now blow up this turn. Reduce all armor of all enemies with 25% for 3 turns. Yes. I will take that. Uh, also, yeah, sure. Give me a Blood Worm. I don't dislike the Blood Worm. I will gain barrier, and you can dark right. Perfect. We've got you. The only question is, do I need to... Can I sack my golem now and kill you? I think we could. Well, I think just to be safe, we should summon a minion first. Not the one I was after. If I sack you... Can I get the kill? I can kill this guy, definitely. By just doing this. So I now just need to do 83 damage this turn. Take a load of barrier on me. It's kind of garbage like that I think I can target these things with my worm, but we can live with it. Uh, activate this guy. You're dead. Perfect. Fury. At the start of each turn, the minion increase its damage by 10%. That's okay. Sacrifice minions on all enemies. At the start of each turn, promote the minion. Give me Fury. The Provider. The path you walk doesn't Ooh. seem to be out of the ordinary. Yet suddenly you hear strange, loud voices resembling a choir. Provide. Provide. We need to provide. Would you like to join my village? Oh, shut up, you damn parasites. <sighs> now you Sorry. see them. All of Sorry, them. Sorry, ma'am. An old lady carrying a lot of strange things on her back and a crew of men trudging after her. All are bald and half naked. Some push a carriage filled with things you can't quite make out. Blessed be my soul, stranger. Alive at that. Thanks to the old mother. She gives you a broad smile and waddles towards you. Who are you? We're on our way to the battlefield with supplies for the army, but it seems we lost our way when this strange fog trapped us last mm. night. It seems that she didn't notice that members of her crew have been dead for quite a while now. The wizard Merlin was supposed to lead our troops with Sir Galahad. We were to meet them somewhere around here. Do you know someone named Horin? 
or buy supplies, choose one out of four random symbols. Her voice suddenly becomes cold as ice. Yes, I know that name. He kept saying that our journey is pointless, that we're heading for certain death, serving people we've never even seen. At some point, everyone was sick of him and our men were on edge, tired, starving. They threatened him, saying that if he didn't stop, he'd be the next meal. Same night, he left his spear behind and disappeared, and we haven't heard from him since. Mm. She starts rummaging for something in her bags. Here, that's the spear. I've no use for it. And frankly, the further away you take this token of disgrace, the better. Okay. New objective. I guess it's to bring the spear back. You try to explain that the battle she's trying to find must be a thing of the past. Of some past, at least. For all you know, Merlin could be dead. And there's no war happening in this reality. She looks at you with sadness. As if her hope or purpose has been shattered by your truth. Listen, you have to, like, rip the band-aid off, you know. We can't just let them trudge around in the fog all this time. Anyway, we're going to leave. I just want to do a quick check. Who the hell was Honey? I don't remember. Hmm. This isn't what I want. Is it in here? Where's the journal thing? Oh my god, don't click randomly. Or is it in my item thing, the quest log? There it is. So the right spring is what we're doing. We're trying to save everyone. Completed Slayer. I don't remember who Honor is. Okay. I don't remember. I'm just going to be open and honest. Speaking of open and honest, I'd like to open whatever that chest is behind me. Oh, these are the things that change forms, right? Phase shifters. Yes. Okay. Give me a blood abomination, please. Eh. Uh, I'm going to promote it. Ritual. Ritual. Blood Golem will protect me from all this horrible damage. I say he's going to protect me. He took a lot of damage then. Give me... Another Blood Golem, I think. He's going to die. I can't really do anything about that. I could pop him for a heal. But he will take at least one hit. He might take two even, so maybe it's worth leaving him around. Or I could put a barrier on him. You know what? Give him barrier. He still dies. And then we'll kill you. But he'll take at least like three or four hits now. Oh, he hasn't died. Oh no, he's going to die now. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I could do two phase, but I don't really want to. What I'm actually going to do is mark you and just kill you. And speaking of which, uh, we'll summon a Grim Abomination and put Fury on it. And you know what? I'll summon another Grim Golem. This feels pretty good as a turn. Right, it's dead. Just need to kill the phase shifters now. Just a little phase shifting that needs to be dealt with. We'll put protection on you. You know, to protect you. I'll summon another blood column. And I'll summon a blood fed. And then I'll pop you for 12 of my ult charges to heal. And we're in business. Great. Let's 
kill one of these at a time. Eh, let's put a nice T1, why not? Our blood prep again, there we go. Another attacking unit. This will help us, like, kill faster. And that's kind of the point of the game, is just to kill faster. Okay, I regret putting it on him mentally because he survived on 1 HP, but he's going to die now, at least. Uh, I'm going to dark right here, just to, like, tickle him. Do a little bit of a tickle. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the best way I can get a heal out of all this. Oh, he's about to die, so I should promote here. I think I barrier. I barrier. Then I sack him for health. I reduce our armor. And I'll float a mana. I'm hoping you target me and I'll just race you with my barrier. Right, you're. Are you gonna get the kill? He has no health anymore. That kind of freaks me out. Why does he have no health? You know what? Just get a golem out of here. Yeah, his health pool has definitely disappeared. I think I've encountered a bug and it's pretty annoying. Oh my god, I just got all blood golems. Yeah, he's definitely immune. All right, he's on one health. Sure, he's fine. I'll live with it. Give me another quit in this mushroom, sure. Another tear. No, not interested. Tainted altar. As you get closer to the altar, a man in a dark robe appears out of nowhere. Trust the man. You're not worthy. Go away. What are you talking about? I'm not worthy. Have you seen what's in my inventory? Exactly what I said. You're not worthy of being here. Not unless you're an acolyte of the Whisper. Oh, it's an event very specific for a certain character, I presume. This is the factions thing, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Okay, maybe I have to do another event for it. I have no idea. Let's just keep killing things. Right, a bunch of rats and a mind bender. You know the play by now. We just want to get one of these guys out as soon as possible. I'm going to blood prep because I would like another one. Thank you. And then you can give me a blood fed. A lot of health spent there, but I'm going to get it back anyway. By popping my big golden boy. Let's put Fury on one of you guys to like make you stronger. And then just start Richling. I have no more room for summon, so there's no point in blood prepping. And uh, my golem's gonna die. You know what? I don't care. I really don't care. I kind of care. Uh I think we're going to get the kill here. So let's blood right. Gave me a golem, that's actually what I wanted. Put protection on you to increase your armor. It's kind of annoying, I think I just let this play out. I kind of want to mark a unit, but I just want to take damage off the board as well. There you go, take the damage off the board. Okay, I'm going to pop, yeah, I'm going to pop you, because I think we're going to get the kill this turn. We're going to do that, that, I think you're dead, I don't need to do anything. Perfect, and I'm back to full health. Advanced promotion, promote a minion two levels, no, I already don't use promotion. <laughs> 
to have enough to re-roll either, so skip. Every minion starts with 15 barrier. When 3 or 1 minions alive, increase your damage by 25% or all blood abomination to promote it. Make my minions a bit stronger, maybe? Or promoted abominations? Just, just do that. I think I'd rather stronger minions. Like, health-wise. Hello, scientist. Welcome again. Would you like a foot? Unfortunately, I only. Hmm. I have no money. I, I spent it all on feet. Right. Oh, a treasure thing. Yes, I'll do a treasure pile. Okay. Do a blood prep. Not what I wanted. So we're going to summon a Blood Worm and put Fury on it. I then going to mark a unit, which I should have done to begin with, and we'll mark the unit I hit. We'll put Protection on my Golem. Uh, I should have done this first as well, to reduce their armor. And then I'm going to summon a Blood Fate too, for all reasons. Cool. I definitely want to get the Abomination out as soon as possible, now that I've got a marking on. You nearly died then. And I can't really save you, so. Goodbye. Oh no, I could stun. Yeah, that seems sensible. Let's just stun them all. He does a little heal. And now I might as well pop him for a heal. Cool. Do, 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 do. I could harvest him as well. Nah, let's just pop him. Heal. Get another... Ooh, do I want another blood abomination? That's kind of dangerous. Okay, we're going to do a blood abomination. I'm going to harvest him and just kill him and promote all units. This guy's going to pop, but I'll live with it. Then, the plan. I'm going to two pillars. It's a bit of a waste of two pillars because they only get one blood column for it. But I'm also not really using the cards right now. What was this again? It's barrier, isn't it? Yeah. This is a pretty high damaging board right now. Some nice little bit of protection. Uh, give me protection. I'm going to blood prep for another unit. Not the one I wanted, but we'll take it. I'll promote him. And then we'll dart right here. We get a kill. We're going to kill the other one as well pretty soon afterwards. And then I'm just going to put barrier on my tank unit so he lives. Okay, we should be good now. Marking is pointless, but I'll use it. Yeah, reduce armor. That sounds fine. Give me an abomination. I might as well just let him pop. And you know what? I've changed mind. I'm just going to sack him. I think we can kill you faster than you're going to kill me. So let's just do this. And then we'll activate a minion. How about this one? How about this one? I definitely need to summon another attacking minion. But... Ah. Let's do it. Blood worm. That's what I want. Protect the blood worm. Put barrier on me. Ritual here. Barrier on me. I can summon a blood golem as well for 6 health. To gain 6 health because I've got my ult right now. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Unlucky. It's more than 6 health by the way. Uh, shall I promote one of these guys? Sure, let's promote this guy. And then sack him. Nice. We're doing it. So you're both going to pop this turn. That might as well go there. You're dead. Goodbye. I'm at full health again. 
This seems pretty strong. This class, at least. Now that I get what's going on, you know, I've barely been truffled. What was protected. Yeah, give me money. Pile of weird shards, unlock a new combat slot for items. Or gain 30 max HP. Max HP is not as good as you'd think. Give me a combat slot. I, honestly, I should probably just take weird shards, but... And what am I going to put in there right now? Give me that knife. I think. Yeah. You're the boss, aren't you? I think you are. Yeah, Dolan. I remember you. Blood prep. Eh, uh, you know what? This can all come out. P protection here. Activate this guy. Reduce damage of all enemies. No, not interested. Do, do, do. I'm honestly so unafraid of this battle, it's preposterous. I'm gonna blood abomination. Promote him. Do, 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 do. I'm just like, I'm like prepared for everything. I can do AoE damage, I can do like single target damage. You're both going to explode, which is vaguely annoying. But I might let you just explode and do the hits for the stuns. I don't really gain much off it. I mean, it'll take me to full, but if I just let you pop anyway, you're going to bring me back to this. No, you will heal me to full. It's actually irrelevant. It does free up a slot for me though. I do have to remember that. So that's actually worth it. Okay. I've ran the numbers. This is worth. Do I take a hit? Yes. Oh, like, I'm sorry. I'll be at two less than full health. I, I'm not afraid. I'm just telling you that now. Do, do, do. Uh... Do I want to destroy the yawning portals? I mean, it doesn't say that it's going to kill the skulls, so... I think I'm going to just annihilate a skull. I have deemed that as a sensible play. Protection here. Fury here. I'm going to summon a blood fair. And then wait. It's kind of risky. This is like one of those weird turns where I haven't got a protecting unit for me. So bad things could happen here, but I'm not expecting it to. Yeah, they hit me, which is actually fine. They're both dead now. Give me a Grim Golem. A stunning enemy will gain 10 Barry next turn. I'll just take 10 Barry next turn, I think. Would not mind an abomination there. Hmm, who do I want to activate? You, I guess. Hit everyone. I'll save my ultimate for now when I for when I need to get a heal off. I think that's its best case of use. Or I want to free a space upon the board. Like maybe now I want to free the space. Yeah, let's try this for a change. So that does a huge amount of damage as AoE. Then get another abomination out. Promote it. Just spend health. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Throw some barriers on me. And then dark right there. Well, let's change my camera angle a little bit. You know what? This might be a bit better actually being high up. I just can't quite see the entire screen. So you popped my golem, and again, I am not too concerned. Because look, here's another golem. Here's another golem. I could have two pillared there, actually, I think. That would be more sensible. Destroy that thing. That gives me a heal anyway. Destroy the other thing. Doesn't matter. You know what? How much does it matter? I'm going to overload this again, I think. Cool. Just racing down. 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna mark the center guy. We're just gonna go super aggro. Promote him. Uh, do I want to do an AOE stun? I just don't care. Put a barrier there and put a barrier on me. Okay, my two guys are going to pop. How did that die then? He was only hitting me for like 30 something or whatever. I don't care. There's another blood column. <laughs> I nearly two pillars again, but... I want more aggression in all honesty. Do, 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 do. Gain 50% damage this turn. Or gain 10 armor next turn. Just give me 50% damage this turn because I'm actually going to float by that. Anyway. Give me a heal. And then we ritual. Perfect. Let's get a, oh, yeah. Let's get one of these out and get one of these out. That feels pretty good. And then we'll put a barrier here. Is that enough to protect you? Probably not. But that's fine. If you die, you die. No, oh, you heal for ten as well. It should be enough. Nope. He died still. I don't get what killed you. Oh, am I getting poisoned? Because he does poison, doesn't he? So maybe the poison damage is all going under him. This guy. I'm so, like, unobservant about what's going on in this battle. I'm just, like, throwing units out with, like, no care in the world. By the way, that should go on you. And then this should go on you. And then I'll protect this guy. You know what? Have two sigils. I'm going to be generous. Yeah, it's poison. I think that's working. I think that's what's going on. Okay, I have room for a... A blood column. So let's free up some space. Take 1,344 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good combo. <laughs> Promote a random minion and activate it. Hmm. Funeral Moon. Reduce the enemy's damage by 75% for two turns. Or scapegoat. Sacrifice a minion. Heal all of the minions to full HP and create 20 barrier on them. That's not bad. But I still think I'm going to skip. Like an echo of something that happened before. Yeah, yeah, this has happened before, we know. Remove one card from my deck or take its passive skill. Honestly, keep giving me passives. Every 12th card played is duplicated. The start of combat gain an energy. Or the start of each turn, reduce it. Armor of all things by five. You know what? Corrosive atmosphere. And let's go back to our village. And this is where we're going to end this part here. I said I'll do two areas per episode, and we finally achieved two episodes. Sorry, two areas in this episode. Either way, join me on the next part, and we'll continue playing as the Blood Mage, who seems insanely strong. If you're enjoying the video, uh, or just the videos on this channel in general, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Everything helps me out, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.